Will 2020 be the year we drift from the church? So way back in the month of March, we started this journey with COVID. And since this time, we've been in this. Now, our church building wasn't open for two and a half months. And so we started to create a new norm and we did online worship. But many of us, if we're honest, we never tuned in because if we weren't gonna be here, we weren't gonna do worship in any form. So here's a question for your heart. Do you believe Hebrews 10.25? It says, not neglecting to meet together, as is the habit of some, but encouraging one another all the more as you see the day draw near. Now, this commandment is from scripture. This is not something I made up. This is not something some guy came up with on his own, but this is God speaking to man, inspired by the Holy Spirit, uh, giving us God's word directly. And we have to come to terms with if we believe this or not. And if we're Christians and we don't agree with the word of God, we live in hypocrisy, saying that we believe in something that we don't truly hold to. This is a rare opportunity Jesus has given us to gather together with other believers. If you were to look above Hebrews 25, it says this, look at verse 20. It says, he opened for us through the curtain, that is through his flesh. And since we have a great priest over the house of God, let us draw near with a true heart and full assurance of faith. With our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our body washed with pure water, let us hold fast to the confession of our hope without wavering. For he who promised is faithful. Because Jesus loves you and created you for community. He started the church so that you can gather together with other believers and know you're not alone and to be strengthened and grow in Christ, especially in these kind of days that we're living in where we feel isolated and lonely and feel like no one understands what we're going through. I wanna close out this video with a personal story of my own. I remember when I first went off to college, I told myself I'm gonna get plugged into a church and maybe it's not this Sunday, but, but next and eventually I will. And before I knew it, the whole semester went by and I had not been a part of a church. And I started to look at my heart and examine it and I realized I was growing a distaste for God and for his people. And it took a long time to recover from it. So my challenge for you, with whatever you're going through right now, is to get plugged in and worship together with the body of Christ, whether that's electronically or in person. Don't let 2020 be the year you distance yourself from other believers in his church.